Hi everybody, Ryan back again uh, in the house today here. Uh, so I got a package here, uh, quite a, a very expensive package, uh, a little over $10,000 in this box. Um, did some research over the last couple weeks looking for some like an all-in-one uh, software for for highway trucks, on highway trucks, uh, for off highway equipment like your construction equipment, uh, Caterpillar, Volvo, um, John Deere, Case, and so on. And then for the uh, agricultural equipment as well, again, John Deere, Case, New Holland, uh, Kubota, Massey Ferguson, Agco, all that stuff. Um, and that's kind of what I, I've been building this business starting out. Uh, we, talk, we bought a truck, bought a new welder generator and some other stuff, some other tools going into the truck as well. Uh, and kind of what I wanted to base this business around is having everything going to this software now. I mean, everything's electronic on this newer equipment. So I wanted to be able to go out and work on anything, be able to hook up to anything. So I mean, if a customer has Volvo trucks and Kenworths with Packard, Cummins, I want to be able to go out with one tool all in one and be able to work on anything or be able to work on trucks today and ag equipment tomorrow and, you know, construction equipment on Monday. So that type of deal where you can work on everything. So I was looking for an all in one. I didn't want to go like buy uh, Cummins Insight, you have to buy that for, you know, two grand or whatever to get all that in the communicator and then have to go out and buy Cat ET and you're in another two grand. Then you have all these different COM adapters and programs and software on your laptop and all that good stuff. So uh, I was looking for an all-in-one and uh, this is uh, Kajali, I believe I say it, Jaw Test. Um, they've got three different packages. You can get an on-highway, uh, you can get off-highway, which is like your construction equipment, and then you can get ag equipment. So there's three different programs with, uh, and there's hundreds of different uh, uh, cords that you can get. And I, I kind of got the most common ones in here for what I'm probably hope to be working on. Uh, and it came, everything that we, like I said, we got all three packages. Uh, it's good for one year. And I think I got like 12 or 14, 15 different cables in here. So we'll open it in a minute. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, so, and so that's one year of the, uh, the software is live for one year. Um, after that, there is a renewal, and depending on what they throw in, they've had some stuff for free this year. So, uh, like the info type of stuff with the schematics, uh, it's, it's a really intuitive program. I was watching some of the videos and stuff online uh, with it, um, and, it, and it's they've put a lot of time. I can see why it's so expensive uh, because they've really put a lot of work into this. Because, uh, like it said, it actually like for working on a Volvo truck or something. Um, when you're in the program, it actually, like if you're working on, uh, you know, the uh, emission system, it actually has actual pictures of that truck, like where the sensors and stuff are. So it's, uh, there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of work put into the program so I can like said, see why it's so expensive. So yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what we got in here. expensive box we've ever had delivered here <laughs> and there wasn't even a signature required <laughs> all right so looks like we got a custom cable set so this is for caterpillar This is for Bobcat, for Bobcat equipment. Uh, Komatsu. And this is Hitachi, which um, a lot of John Deere uh, excavators are Hitachi, so they work on John Deere and, and Hitachi stuff. Uh, this is Caterpillar Perkins, if you guys didn't know, uh, so I was still in the Navy, um, I think it was like two seven, nah, 2007, 2006 or so, um, maybe earlier than that. And I know Caterpillar actually bought out Perkins engines, so this is their uh, uh, cord for those those engines. A lot of generators, gensets and stuff have those Perkins engines. And this is Massey Ferguson, so, so we got that one as well. So that's those.
And this has no name. <laughs> no tag. So I have to figure out what that one is. And this is Kubota. This is an extension cord, but there's a power jack because some of these connectors here have to be used in conjunction with this cord to provide power. Um, it's because some of, some of these connect connectors don't actually provide power to it, so you have to provide an external power source. So that's what that's for. So that's all the extra cables that I bought additionally, and I think we were in about $900 for what you see here. Like I said, I have no... I'll have to go through my list and see what this one's for. So. This might be Vol. I was supposed to have Volvo, so I think this is probably for Volvo equipment. Because I don't see Volvo here. So it's, hopefully that's what this one is. So. Alright. Mm. Not sure what that is. So we got. Two there with no tags, we're gonna figure out what they are. And I hope the software that I gotta install on my laptop is on a uh, thumb drive because my laptop does not have a uh, CD ROM drive. <laughs> Nice little case here. <laughs> oh, they even give you a free pen. <laughs> so I got a little bit of paperwork here, serial number, all that type of stuff, activation codes. So this is the uh, COM adapter right here. So this is kind of what uh, takes the information from the machine and vice in the computer and vice versa and kind of translates all that between the two. So you got a power jack here. This is almost like a printer cable. And this is an OBD, OBD2 adapter, so this will work on heavier like Ford and GMC, Chevrolet, uh, bigger trucks like your uh, 4500s, 6500s, uh, F750s, all that type of stuff. And most of you probably seen this is what's in most of if you're in trucking. Uh, this is what's on most trucks out there. The green one is the newest one. So that's probably be using this most of the time. And there's a uh, six pin. There's some uh, heavy equipment and stuff like that. Some trucks have a uh, six pin adapter, just like your nine pin there. Yeah, and I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna have to go through the manual and figure all this stuff out. <laughs> but uh, the other cool thing, this looks like you can hook up to a battery here. And, here. and this actually, some other type of power adapter, like a cigarette lighter type deal. Uh, the other interesting thing with this system or this setup is they actually have these pins here to where even if I don't have the correct cable, uh, you can actually, the, the uh, computer program will give you a, uh, a diagram where you can use these pins and actually kind of MacGyver hook up to anything even without having the proper quote unquote cable. So that's pretty nice little feature there as well so I mean even if I had to hook up with something I don't have the, the cord for it I can still get into it so and I'm assuming that's probably going to use this guy here for those yeah it looks like it's probably color coded you hook up to these and there's four four of those so. so a lot of stuff a lot of stuff to figure out here uh, I gotta actually make an appointment 
with their uh, tech support or activation department and all that and get all this stuff installed. And so I don't see any type of thumb drive or anything, so I'm assuming that um, I'm gonna have to, we'll probably download that off uh, the internet so that, that makes it easier too. Like I said, because most of your new, new laptops and computers these days don't even come with a uh, CD-ROM drive or DVD-ROM or whatever they, they call them. So that's what you get for like $10,500. <laughs> so, uh, but I mean, in this, the, the uh, day and age we live in, that's kind of to do, to have a successful business, I think uh, this is what you're gonna have to have uh, to be able to go out there and work on anything. I mean, everybody out here, got, everybody's got a truck and some wrenches and you know some tools like that, but uh, to have this amount of power to go out and work on, to get into anything at a competitive price, uh, you know, basically I'm going to be offering rates uh, probably cheaper than most in-shop services are uh, coming on site, and especially you get into some of the dealers like Caterpillar, Deer, and, plus, and, like, and Volvo, stuff like that. Um, I know like your, your heavy truck, uh, like Volvo, Kenworth, and all them, a lot of them won't even bring software out. You have to bring it into the shop. They won't even bring it on site. So if you're if you broke down at your house, they're going to want you to tow it in. Um, so it's a real, I've dealt with that with some of the companies I've worked for as a mechanic. Like it was, we had a, uh, actually had a Freightliner one time that was having some computer, computer issues and we could not get anybody to come out. Um, they wanted us to tow it in. We finally got a Cummins dealer to come out and do an on-site thing, but uh, it was it was really, they acted like they didn't want to do it. So it was kind of a big deal to, to do stuff like that. So to be able to come out on site, save a, save a customer from towing something in, or if you got a piece of heavy machinery, um, it could cost you, I mean, especially something that's over width, it could cost you thousands of dollars to get that machine just towed in or hauled into the shop where I can come out right on site for probably cheaper than what they'd charge you for the in-bay in service, so. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, there's a little bit out there on this software. Uh, the, the, the company itself, they, they have a lot of vid good videos out there. I believe they're from, I think they're, they're a European company, but they have a uh, center here down in Florida. Uh, but I think they're out of Spain, possibly, is where, the, where it all started at or where, where, where everything's made. So uh, it's uh, pretty interesting stuff. And uh, we'll have, once I get this, go through the setup process, I'll be able to show you guys what, the, what it looks like on a computer and all that. So, and kind of take you through the process here if you're interested. So um, with that, guys, uh, that's pretty much what we got for today. Uh, so like I said, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, hit that bell for the updates. Give us a thumbs up, like the video. You know, as you guys know on this channel, we're always uh, doing the trucking stuff, uh, Landstar, owner-operator stuff. Uh, kind of getting into another business here as kind of with, with this video and the tr service truck and all that. Uh, so if you're interested, like I said, subscribe and all that uh, and hit the bell for the updates so you're always seeing the new stuff. Um, if you're interested in farming stuff, uh, we put that on a new channel now, uh, kind of growing that up and putting a lot of stuff out on there too. So if you're interested in farming and working on farm equipment, antique tractors and animals and all that stuff, uh, we'll put a link in the description for that as well. So check that out if you're interested. You know, thanks for all the support, comments, and all that. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.